Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, I'm actually on my way to London for the very first time by myself. Um, I flew from Derry to Stansted and I'm, in, I'm trying to show you the plane here because um, I'm in a Logan airplane and they're so small and so low to the ground. I was a bit nervous to be honest with you. I'm just like showing you how like how tiny the plane is. I felt like you were sitting on the engine. So yeah, anyways, I'm meet, going to meet my sister. We're going for four days. Um, I meet my sister there. She planned all of this, which she did a really, really good job. We did so much stuff. Um, my younger two sisters were supposed to come too. It was supposed to be like a sister holiday, but the bitches didn't come. So yeah, this is a three-part vlog. Um, I thought I'd just talk this first little bit because I didn't <laughs> do any talking. And I thought I'd explain a little bit. Um, the flight there was actually fine. Um, I flew into Stansted and I had to get a train. And my sister told me what train I needed and she was going to meet me there. But yeah, in case... Do you see this little man at the very, very corner? I pretty much followed him from the plane to the train. You have to go back outside and back in the front door to get to um, the train at London Stansted. It's at the left-hand side. I have to come in the door in case anyone was wondering. And I just like got on this train... This train was empty and this is me going, I have no idea if I'm on the right train or not. Like, look at my face. <laughs> I'm like shitting myself because um, the train was empty and some woman just goes, yep, that's your train there and just shoved me on there. And I really had no idea what I was doing. A rural little girl from from Ireland really had no idea what she was doing on trains. Um, But yeah, actually, by the end of this trip, I got we very well versed on the trains. And also, I think I just said like it was really, really warm. Because it was, I looked weird wearing a jumper. So, but it was cold in Ireland. Um, yeah, I was meeting my sister at Liverpool Street. So this is just proof I got on the right train. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, yeah, she was like, should we just meet at the hotel? I was like, no, hell no. Um, yeah, it was so weird getting trains, but I managed to do it perfectly fine. Um, I don't know why I vlogged using the toilet. It was the toilet and trains. It was like so powerful. My wet wipes in hand because I was like. Covid worried, but yeah, I was like, look how tan my hands are as well. Anyways, oh my god, why, why, Laura? <laughs> Anyways, um, I met my sister at the train station. We went to King's Cross, where our hotel was just a walk from there, and we went to this McDonald's that we ate at like four times in our trip, um, and also this little Tesco as well. We went there loads of times because it was near where we stayed at the Premier Inn hub. I'm gonna pass it over to me again because I actually start talking, so enjoy! Okay, so we just made it to the hotel room. Marsh is hiding. Um, yeah, I filmed a little bit getting on the plane. It is so bloody warm here. I'm sweating like balls. This jumper is a bad idea. But yeah, so we got off at King's Cross Station, which is where the Harry Potter things are most filmed, which I didn't know about. And the hotel is like this hub place, which isn't too far away. We just got here, we stopped at Tesco and got a drink. Alcoholic, of course. <laughs> and so we're in this place. I'm gonna show you the little tiny hotel room. Come in, there's a door. There's this very see-through bathroom. <laughs> and then, hello. It's very nice and modern. It's got like nice lights. Very cute, very nice. And then we have this, another mirror, hair dryer. Bottle opener, which we were in the shop thinking we could not buy bottles because we could not open them. But they literally have one screw to the wall, so we'll be going back to the shop. Hair dryer, a little tiny wardrobe, a big bed um, with very nice, more lighting plugs, like these little things. Oh, there's air conditioning above the door, which is very much needed. Where you can control lights, you can put do not disturb, which is like a wee sign outside the door. A TV, oh there's a TV, I didn't even look at that. TV, more plugs, a little desk, a chair, a massive drawer, and more space. And suitcases, and Rush is laughing at me doing my video. <laughs> and this is the view, a very dirty window. And we literally just crossed down here a minute ago. And my hands are very brown, so do not look at them. So yeah, and we're going to, what if tonight we're going to go see Wicked, which um, I've never been to see a play, I don't think. Washington is drinking her drink, is it nice? 
Very so nice. yeah, we're gonna try and be less sweaty and go get ready, and then we're gonna go see Wicked. So two, day two in London, um, last night we went to see Wicked, it was really good, um, I'm not too well versed in Wicked so, but it was still good, like the voices, amazing. This is what I'm wearing for day two, oh, don't mind the floor, um, a dress from Pennies, I just had to come up to the room and get something, and uh, now we are going to go exploring and do touristy things and all that jazz so yeah i just have to we just had breakfast which was nice it was like a buffet and now we're gonna go explore so yeah i thought i'd talk a bit more over these clips because it was a sunday and all the shops were closed so we didn't get to do any of that but we did do some sightseeing things. We saw this Chinatown on the way to Mia Lima shop. Um, it was very, very pretty. Um, and also on the way there, there's this like Instagram like tea place. I don't know what it was called, but it was on the way to this beautiful place. Um, if you like Harry Potter, this is the place you need to go. It's like a bookshop um, full of Harry Potter things. Um, because of course, Mia Lima designed um, the first few films they did like the wanted posters and they have so much pretty artwork and stuff here it is very very pretty and if you like books prints this is the place for you This was also my first time seeing the Big Ben, and really it wasn't that impressive, but of course I had to take a selfie. Yeah, I, d I don't know what I was thinking it was going to look like, but it didn't look like this. This is also a thing I would recommend anybody going to London to go see. Um, it's not really mapped that well, but it's called The Vaults, I'm pretty sure. Um, it's this big massive graffiti tunnel, and it is so, so cool. It's like the place you want to go to take pictures. There's people literally there graffitiing the whole time, and it's pretty much you just walk right through it. There's like restaurants and places to eat in it as well, which is a bit strange, but yeah, it is very, very cool. But yeah, The Vaults, that's what it's called. Um, yeah, it's very pretty. Very much recommended to do. I also think this is called the Borough Market. Again, I'm not actually sure what it's called. But yeah, look at these cannolis. Oh my god, I had to have them. They were really beautiful. We kind of went there a bit late, so they were kind of finishing up. But like, you can go there and eat food, you can buy things. It's like really, really good. Again, another place I would definitely recommend to go to. Um, and this was on the way. We wanted to go to um, the Tower of London, which we did next. Um, so yeah, we bought our tickets. It really wasn't a big wait or anything. Um, there was a lot of stairs though, which was so fun in the very, very warm weather. Um, on the way up though, there's lots of like history things you can see, which I love doing, honestly. I like all the history stuff. Um, and at the top you can walk the bridge of course um, and there's loads of places you can take photos of yourself um, little holes you can stick out your camera to see the view which I did of course <coughs>
also actually caught the bridge raising for a boat to go through, um, which was cool to see. But um, it was literally like a party boat full of like people drinking, so it was a bit weird. Um, but yeah, that was cool to see. Afterwards, you can go down. Your ticket also includes you can go down under the bridge to see how it worked in the past. Um, how the big you can see like the big engines um, and how they actually used to burn like coal to like move the engines to open and lower the bridge and it shows like all these people um, who used to work there and what their jobs were which again was kind of cool so yeah later that evening we actually got these cable cars um, which was you can get it like over the Thames and we did it at sunset time just before sunset so we could see the sunset as we were going over the bridge or sorry over the water um, we decided not to do the London Eye, we did this instead um, and we got it to the over the far side and then on the way back we got um, an Uber boat back which is kind of cool. So we just got a cable car and we're like up in the air, it's scary because it's really high. Like, I wonder if I can see, like this is what we're on, one of these bloody things. Depression. It's like 9 o'clock at night, so like the sun's setting. But there's the O2 over there. You see the sun setting? Mm -hmm. You can't really turn. Oh yeah, you can. The sun setting. It's beautiful. It's kind of scary because I don't like heights. We're going down. <laughs> but yeah. It's like very, very high. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's what we're doing. Cable cars. It's been oh, too easy. Oh. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> We're going down at like a very rapid race speed. That's it, we're on. Maybe you got it on the way back. Look at the like rooftop terrace and like all sitting up. Wow, that's cool. You can see like into some of people like, see into your terrace. Oh, so okay. Terrace down We're like. That was kind of fun. After a day of running around seeing the Big Ben. Who wants to get through? And the terrible one, of course.